Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Michelle brought to you by Aqua Sky. Today I am at Zone 7 in Cape Town and I'm about to interview Seth van den Biele, motocross rider. Let's go! <laughs> Joining me here today. What do you love most about motocross? Um, I love the adrenaline rush. I mean, when you're racing and your heart's at 180 um, beats per minute, I mean, it's the most insane feeling. Mm. Um, and when you win a race, you know everyone's behind you, and you you were the first person over the line, and you trained the hardest for the race. It's the best feeling. You mm, know. I can imagine. And have you had any injuries, or what has been your worst injury that you've had? Um, in 2013, um, I tore my ACL um, at 13 years old, and wow. that's quite a big injury for a 13 year old because it's um, when they do the operation, they got to go through the growth plate. So yeah, it's quite a wow. serious operation. Okay. Yeah. And what what has been a highlight for you in your motocross career? Um, in that same year, 2013, I just had to bite through the pain and I won the championship that year. Wow, with, so, that, yeah. with that injury, yeah. that's amazing, yeah. well done. <laughs> Which was quite cool, yeah. And have you had any other injuries since then? Um, yeah, I think it was in 2011, I broke my shoulder, um, I had three pins put in and then um, a few years ago, I think it was 2017, I broke my collarbone and I had a plate put in. But that's oh, all sorted, okay. yeah. Okay, and it's all fine Yeah, now. it's all good, yeah. Okay. Nothing too serious. Okay. And who is your greatest influence or role model in the sport? Um, I'd probably say Ken Roxon. Um, he's from America, but just his story. I mean, he's had one of the worst injuries on his wrist, and he made such a huge comeback and won races just to show how much he loved motocross. It's just oh, wow. inspiring, you know. Yes. Really cool guy. That's amazing. Have you met him before? No, yet? I haven't, but I would like to. Yes. I'd love to meet him. Yeah, <laughs> it would be something really special if I could meet him. Yeah. Mm. And besides motocross, do you have any other hobbies or does this um, keep you busy full time? <laughs> yeah, I do a bit of surfing and every now and then play a bit of golf with my mates. But okay. that's about it. Nothing too serious. Okay, yeah. nice. So I'm sure you, you need to be quite fit to do this. Do you have a special exercise routine that you follow? Um, yeah, I do. Um, my friend from Durban um, sends me programs and stuff like that. Um, and then I just follow those and it's, it's a lot of hard work. I'm mm. going to gym at least twice a day. A lot of cardio, okay. um, yeah, because the heart rate is very high while we're racing. So yeah, we're hitting like almost 200 while we're riding. Wow. Yeah, okay. a heart and rate do, of 200. Oh wow! Which is and very, can, very can high. you do you actually feel sore afterwards or stiff mm -hmm. after a session? After a race or gym? Yeah, oh, after a race. After yeah. a race, yeah, you're a little bit sore. Um, a little bit, and then your hands are very sore, obviously from holding on. But that's about it. Otherwise, you're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how often do you race um, during the week? Well, we, we normally practice at maybe like once a week and then ride twice on the weekend, like Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Um, yeah, and then nationals are, there's a national every single month in all over South Africa, yeah. Okay. Which is really cool, yeah. Mm. So do, do you take part in those? Yeah. Yeah, this year I didn't take part in all of them because it's quite um, difficult to get all the races. I mean, financially it's a very expensive sport, so it's yes. very difficult to do all the races, yeah. Mm. But yeah, we do try our hardest to get all the races. Yes. Yeah. So can you tell me about your future plans? Um, yeah, well, I'm not done with school yet. So I've got one more um, year of school, but after mm -hmm. school, 
I'm going to try and train really hard, see if I can pick up a MX2 national championship. Um, and then from there on, I'd love to go overseas and try and turn pro. But yeah, but financially it's really, really expensive, the sport, so mm. we'll have to see and take it as it comes, you know. Yes, yeah. well good luck with that, I think you would do amazing <laughs> Thank you very that. much. And um, do you have any advice for kids who all want to get into the sport? Yeah, well, um, if they want it, they can get hold of me on Facebook or Instagram. Okay. Um, my Facebook name is Seth van den Orbiela, my full name, and then my Instagram name is Seth Um I am the junior rider rep at Zone 7, uh, at Zone 7 so... Um, yeah, I can definitely get them into the sport and yeah, get them going and get them into races because they do have little newbie races um, away from the main races so they can just come here on a weekend and it's just 50 newbies riding, which is quite cool. Okay, and, 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 and at what age do most people start riding? Um, well, I started at three, um, but most a good age to start riding is between three and four, you know? Okay then you can race your whole life and you'll be good Yes. Okay. all the way through. Mm. And, and do you only race at Zone 7 or are there other places that you race um, as well? No, I race all over South Africa. Okay. Durban, Johannesburg, mm. um, Bloemfontein, mm. Harry Smith. There's so many other tracks all over yes. South Africa that we race. The National Series is right over South Africa. Okay. And then there's also an international race in Uganda. Okay. And Zimbabwe that we also go and ride oh, as well, wow, which is quite amazing. cool, yeah. Nice. But you have to get chosen to race that okay, as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was so amazing to hear more about your story and I wish you all the best for the future. All right, thank you very much for having me and good luck with your karting in the future. Thank you, thanks so much. And thank you to everyone for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed Conversations with Michelle brought to you by Aquasky. And please don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Mm-hmm.